Hello everyone, my name is Elias Marx and I'm part of the Photogrammetry Lab of the University of Bonn. I will present our approach on precise 3D reconstruction of plants from UAV imagery by combining bundle adjustment and template matching. As all of you probably know, the world population is expected to grow in the next decades, as is the world income. As a result, also the demand for food and other agricultural products will raise. As the ecosystems on the planet need to be also protected, agricultural produce must be sustainable by reducing the usage of water and agrochemicals. One solution for these problems is the development of new varieties. This, however, involves a lot of repetitive human labor, especially to detect the traits of each plant in a process called phenotyping. Experts are commonly walking through the fields to collect the necessary data. Luckily, this can be automated by the use of UAVs to capture images from the air and autonomous evaluation techniques to extract the needed data. By doing this, we have a much higher throughput at a fraction of the cost. To extract the plant traits, we first acquire the images with the UAV, then we perform bundle adjustment to obtain three-dimensional data in the form of point clouds. We then segment these point clouds into single plants and individual leaves, and finally we fit a template mesh on which we define key points corresponding to the tip, the base and the left and right corners. This fitted template can be used to extract many plant traits, or better, leaf traits. As an example, we simply have to sum up the length of the blue and green vertices highlighted here to obtain the leaf length and width. In the left image, you can see arrows representing the stem length in red, the main curvature in cyan and the corner bending in orange. These parameters along with the poles are optimized using least squares, a least squares approach to align the template to the scan. You can see the resulting alignment here on the right. To get a more accurate fit of the template, we then optimize the position of each vertex according to a loss containing three components. The chamfer distance ensures that the deformed template is close to the scan. The relative edge length variation component encourages the preservation of the leaf shape and the regularization factor smooths the result. To compare the reconstruction performance of our approach to existing methods, we use the precision recall, F-score and chamfer distance metrics common in the literature. For the first three metrics, higher is better, while for the chamfer distance, a good result is measured by a low value. As you can see in the table, our approach reported at the bottom outperforms the baseline in all metrics by a good margin. Instead, to measure how well the key points are detected, we compute the distance of the reconstructed key points to the ones we manually labeled on the scans. The lower this distance, the better, of course. Also, here our results are better, except for the leaf tip, which is reconstructed slightly better by one baseline approach. To get a better feeling of what these numbers represent here, you can see some exemplary results. On the left, we show the input point clouds, in the middle column, the baseline results, and on the right, the results of our approach. The brighter the color, the bigger the distance of the reconstruction to the scan, therefore the blue parts are the ones reconstructed well. As you can see, our approach outperforms the baseline, especially in the central parts, but also in the outer leaf parts, there are less yellow spots that correspond to reconstruction error. So, our main contributions are the integration of prior knowledge about the leaf shape into the reconstruction process in the form of the template mesh, leading to better leaf reconstruction and better estimation of the key point poses. This poses the foundations for better phenotyping as more data can be collected in this autonomous way and the results will likely be more ob objective than data collected by different experts. And with this, I thank you for your attention and please drop me an email if you have any questions or comments.